The attack began in the middle of the day, just as the election commission were preparing to announce how many polling stations will be open for the crucial presidential election in a week's time to choose a successor to President Karzai. After making much of the countryside too dangerous for democracy, the Taliban were turning their attention to the body monitoring the process itself. Four suicide bombers have entered my house. I had three guards, two outside and one inside, but I don't know what is happening right now. The attackers were wearing women's burqas. The gang of attackers took over a building a few hundred meters away and tried to inflict whatever damage they could on the series of buildings in the large purpose-built election commission compound. Fire appliances were on standby to put out any fires that would damage ballot papers or other records. Bringing democracy after more than three decades of conflict was never going to be easy in Afghanistan. The Taliban are exacting a high price for this election. The attack was the second in Kabul in 24 hours and the third in a week. Police were today assessing the damage to a guest house used by an American aid organization attack last night following an assault on a hotel used by foreigners and wealthy Afghans last week. The scale and intensity of violence here increases day by day.